province has been providing the HPV vaccine for girls in grade school for free. But some parents want our provincial government to go one step further and provide it to boys. And our Dr. Rhonda Lowe is here to explain this. Doctor. Well, that's right, Colleen. Health Canada has now approved the HPV vaccine for use in boys and young men. And that has some parents questioning why the provincial government isn't providing the vaccine for boys at school. In September 2008, the controversial decision was made. BC schools started to provide the Gardasil vaccine to girls in grade 6 and 9. The vaccine is up to 90% effective in preventing HPV, the sexually transmitted infection that causes most cervical cancers. Now that Gardasil has also been approved by Health Canada for boys and young men, David Barks wants his two sons vaccinated. I applied for my boys to be vaccinated when the forms came home. But David was told that could not happen. The government has yet to fund the vaccine for boys. It is then reviewed by a committee called the National Advisory Committee on Immunization. They look at all the evidence and they make a recommendation as to whether it should be used sort of by the public health system. In men, HPV can be responsible for genital warts in some cancers. It's believed getting the shot could prevent these diseases. We believe it would be probably 90% effective against uh, genital warts, penile warts or anal warts, and uh, possibly 60 to 70% protective if it's similar to its protection against um, female cancers, against uh, penile cancers anal can and anal cancers. While it's not publicly funded, parents do have the choice to pay for the vaccine, but it's not cheap, costing $150 each for the three needed shots. I have two boys, and by the time I'd be done, it'd be $1,000. Still, it's something David is considering. I'm exploring that option, though, because I really do believe that uh, full prevention of HPV would be a wonderful thing. Okay, doctor, I didn't even know the vaccine was effective in boys. This is news. The idea, Colleen, is it would generate a similar type of immune response in boys as it would in girls. Now, the hope is to help protect against some oral cancers particularly, and new research has, cases, has said that cases are on the rise of oral cancers in developed countries, and the risk of developing this disease has been linked to the number of lifetime sexual partners. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so is funding in the works for a vaccine for boys? Mm, it really doesn't seem so. The provincial government says for any publicly funded vaccine, to be considered, they need to weigh the cost effectiveness between one vaccine compared to others. Oh my goodness. Okay.